two with a gain of one that time. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he'll be taken down deep into Charger territory. It's a big play there for Tennessee. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Let's make these babies cry. Running from the gun with Henry. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Henry. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry. His second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Titans have taken the lead. Extra point, and good by Bullock. And the lead is now 21-14. will send this one away after the touchdown. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. The Charger drive about to get going. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? <laughs> the end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Nice play call. A little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The handoff, it's Eckler. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Back to throw. Herbert looking middle, and it's incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Third and two, Herbert. Throw left side complete. That's Cook. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Two yards on the pickup there. And it'll be fourth down. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. 
On the ground, it's Eckler. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Going on the ground with Eckler. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again. Herbert throwing the out route incomplete. That's Allen. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Looking to throw. Herbert. He's going to find Cook here in the end zone for a Charger touchdown. Jared Cook. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Batson not going to risk returning it, so they'll start at the 25. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. Man open left side is Brown. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Check 26, check 26. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Two yards the loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They'll keep it on the ground. Henry. And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. Now a handoff to Henry. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, 
six yards. And the Titans answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Roberts electing not to try it, and this will come out to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. Fortunate to get that football back. His trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left. And this has to be a first down or a touchdown. But this game's over. Down seven. And they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Fourth down for Herbert. Desperation time. And Allen's got it. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Herbert. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Cook. A gain of six there on first. Herbert going to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Cook. They'll give him four yards there. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Throwing Herbert. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. With no timeouts left, that's a dangerous proposition. Work in the middle of the field. Fortunately for them, that one fell incomplete. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it with Eckler. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. One last throw here for Herbert. Sliding out of the pocket. On Herbert, his third interception. Picked up by Janoris Jenkins. And the Titans are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here, coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, or five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they came up with the interception and sealed their victory.